Hi everyone, my name is Sarajit Kaur and I'm a computer teacher by profession. In my today's video, I'm going to print this pattern and I'll use nested for loop for printing this pattern. So before starting this video, I request you all to please subscribe my channel and hit the like button also. So for just writing a program for printing this type of pattern, you have to understand this pattern that how can we make our logic to create our program, right? So just look at that pattern and just analyze that how many rows are there in this pattern. We have five rows in this pattern and according to these five rows, we will use two loops, okay? One is outer loop and one and second one will be the inner loop. In the outer loop, I will take a variable i and I will give value to the i variable as 1 to 5 because I want to print 5 rows. So that's why I am starting my outer for loop from 1 and I will end that outer loop at 5. Okay. So and let's see and or analyze the second thing that in every line, in every row, the quantity of the star is equal to the number of row. If we have a row number one, then, then inner loop will print only one star. And if we are moving to the second row, then we will print two stars in the second row. So according to this pattern, we will use inner loop. And in the inner loop, I will take a J variable and I'll start that variable from 1 to I. I'll start this variable from 1 and I end that variable at I because I want to print the stars according to the row number. So that's why I have taken this I variable as a stop value here. So this is my logic and according to this logic, I will create this program. I hope this logic is clear to you. So let's write down this program in the code block. Okay. So this is my code block screen and I'm going to write this program according to the logic that I have explained you right now. So I'm going to take two variables i and j. I'm not going to take any value from the user because I uh, might clear that I want five rows in my pattern. So that's why I will start my for loop from one and I will stop this variable at 5 and I'll increment this variable by 1. And inside this for loop, I will take inner for loop and I'll start that loop from 1. And I end that j variable at i. According to i, I want to print the values. So inside the inner loop, I will print star. So I'll print star. So that's why I'm putting the star inside the double quotes and I'll close this double quote. And after that, I'll put semicolon. When this inner loop will stop its working, then I want to move in the next line. So I can use slash n here or you can use endl here. Endl works same as slash n. It will take your compiler to the next row after completing the one row. So this way we can print the pattern. Just save this program and I'll execute this program. I have saved this program and I'm going to execute this. See, my pattern is on the screen and it's working properly. According to this program, this pattern is working properly. If you want to increase the number of rows, just increase this value. Here I have written 5. Now I'm going to increase the value as 10. So it will print 10 rows. I'm going to save this and I'm going to execute this. So I have not stopped this screen. Now I will execute this. See, the pattern has increased in length because I have increased the value of i here. So according to your requirement, you can increase the length of your pattern. I hope this program is clear to you. And if you have any kind of problem, you can mention that problem in the comment box. If you want me to create a program on any other topic, then please mention that topic in the comment box. I'll surely make the video on that topic. So see you in the next video. Bye-bye.